hate it. We're working hard to be the best. Watch varsity competitors hone their skills. See how practice pays off. Hear from coaches and student athletes. Welcome to MPS Sports Talk. Badminton is a smashing sport, mate. All six Mesa Public High Schools competed in the 2013 Badminton City Championship at Dobson High School on October 25th. Red Mountain won with a score of 50 points. Skyline came in second place. Dobson was third, followed by Mountain View, Westwood, and Mesa. Here are the members of the Red Mountain Badminton team, city and regional champions, explaining the top 10 things you should know about high school badminton. Number 10, badminton is sometimes unappreciated, but it is one of the greatest, most strategic sports you'll ever play. Number nine, there is no delaying the game. So this means that if you are tying your shoe and it takes more than five minutes, you're delaying the game. Number eight, the server's body may not touch the net at any point in the game. This includes, but is not limited to, her face, her arm, the racket, or her hair. Number seven, you must win two out of three games. Number six, there's absolutely no coaching from anyone on the sidelines throughout the game. Apparently, all she needs to know is that she can do it. Number five, the server's racket must be below her wrist and her feet can touch no lines on the court. Number four, you play to 11 in singles and you play to 15 in doubles. So the game doesn't go on forever and ever. If you tie at 10 in singles, you go to 13. And if you tie at 14 in doubles, you go to 17. Number three, in singles, you play with one person. And in doubles, you play with two people. <laughs> Number two, you are your own line judge. So that means you and only you can call, call your own lines. No one else can call your lines because, well, they aren't playing. Number one, badminton is in fact a real sport. Westwood super sophomores Aitza and Hayden also love to play badminton. Badminton is an uh, international sport and it's played in the Olympics. We practice, um, mostly in practice, our smashes because those are the key to like getting your points and um, movement a lot. In doubles uh, matches you have to move a lot and uh, movement is key. Serving in um, singles you want to get it really high and far so they could barely like, they can hit it back so you can smash it on them and in doubles it has to be right over the net. A overhead drop shot is when they clear it to you and over your head you drop it as close to the net as you can. A clear is when you hit it as hard as you can to the far back so they can't get it. It takes a lot of eye-hand coordination and if you can't get your eye-hand coordination then you're not going to be able to hit the birdie and then if you don't move a lot then you're not going to be able to win. Aitza and Hayden finished in second place in the gold doubles division. Here's the complete list of singles and doubles winners at the City Badminton Tournament. the highlights from the action-packed tournament.
Congratulations to the Mesa Public Schools Badminton student athletes and coaches for a great season.